Hey everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and well, let's play a little of course. Pillars of Eternity here. So, we've got our fantastic group ready to go, and we we had a little scrum as we explore Cadnua. The hedges grow in shaggy heaps shot through with weeds and tall grasses. We got our bard, and we're ready to just try to see um, what this place might have in store for us. Alright, so there's a very nice structure in here. With a fountain. I mean, take a look at this. This is a very, I mean, picturesque little... Tutor, let's just check out what's in here, shall we? All right, so we're gonna. Hey there. Um, They'll never know I'm here. Sneak around with our rogue and just kind of see what's here. I'm gonna quick save it, and we are in something called Bright Hollow. Okay, this appears to be the kitchen. It's been ransacked. The sour odors of rancid grain and spoiled fruit permeate the air. Dust and rusted utensils cover the countertop. Gross. Spoiled fruit. Okay. Rats skitter among the broken stairs. Okay. Yeah, well this Looked to have been a grand entryway at one point, but has fallen into some serious disrepair. Let's just keep sending this rogue around. Okay. Looks like nothing here. I'm going to speed up her movement. Boy, this, this looks like it would make a good headquarters for our team. Let's claim it. Do a little spring cleaning. This is our base. The shelves creak under the books. Many of the covers are mottled with mildew. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's not looking good here. Cobwebs bind the remains of a broken alembic, a cracked mortar, and various shattered bottles and vials to the table. All right. Well, this place appears to have been picked clean. I am seeing exactly nothing at the moment. All right. So we can just leave stealth mode. We can just take the whole group around, see what we got, make sure there is nothing, and there really isn't. So... Deserted. Can't go upstairs. Because they collapsed. So we can look around. Alright, there's a... More fountain work. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's see what's going on. Oh my god. Alright. Um, Touche. We got a Will of the Wisp. Here we come. All right, we got him. Look at that. Aloth did 29 pierce damage with that crossbow, and Doctor Incompetent did 33 pierce damage. Yeah, I really am taking your guys' advice to heart, which is that... Um, crossbows, guns, whatever it might be, in the hands of the casters are way better than the scepters they started with. Uh, there's a bunch of Adra that's shooting through this hangout. Oh my god, they blew it up. Zelda did it for 30... Did I mean, look at that. We just killed it before we even got to it. How nice is that? Very nice. Lizard skins, knuckle bones, and teeth of various sizes lie among the weeds. One side of this pillar is graven with hundreds of whorls and ridges, even under 
a layer of grime and moss, the Adra gleams. Okay. Oh. oh, here we go. We've got some more baddies here. Okay. Alright, so let's start getting feisty with them. Yes. And some spells. Like that. Okay. And then yeah. let's do that again. Like that. Oh, poor Zelda. Yeah. They're on you, huh? They always are. Alright. Uh, everybody, can you hit the one that's on Zelda? Is that even possible? Okay. And then hey spellcasters. Hit this like that. How may I help? You may help by um Yeah, punch this down. Uh. Alright, good. Now everybody's killed that one. Let's take this down and then this. Can we get it? Leave it to me. Yeah, there you go. Good. Good. We somehow prevented Zelda from dying, which is like a small mercy and miracle all at once. All right. So let's save it because she's not dead. Right, a little amphitheater here for everyone to get together, have a good time, enjoy a party or a play. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think it's so funny that the chanter, like, just, you can hear him start every time we get into battle with his deep voice and the chanter action happening, and it's just, like, it's very scary. It's super intimidating. I'm glad he's on my side. This trapdoor has been battered by the elements. Tugging on the rusted handle only produces a heavy rattling. All right. Well, we can't get in that way. Oh, boy. Flame blight. That looks dangerous. Um, okay. Now, let's see. How are we doing? We're hurting them. All right. Well, then let's just everybody kill this one. Okay. They're going for it. All right. Hit it. Oh. We're taking a bunch of damage. All right. Uh, can you... Uh, actually, just use your thing. And then, uh, yeah, let's do that. And then, Hi? let's start dropping magic over here. Hey there. Our crossbows don't appear to be hurting this as much as I would like. All right, everybody, hit this thing. Ooh, there's this there's the shade that we summoned the phantom hit it everybody everybody hit it there we go cool well um oh god purple dream look we got um 432 experience for the flame blight bestiary progress so that's very strong i'm happy about that all right let's go ahead Primal Flame. This bright little flame leaps and sparks with magical energy. Indeed it does. It looks great. Let's take it all. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just zoom out. And we're going to survey this right, scene. Okay. Leave. Oh. Leave our village. We've done nothing to you. I I believe our you. village. We've done nothing to you. And do this. You can't do this. Spectral smoke churns all around you. At first, you can see nothing except the haze, but gradually you make out the wizened, hunched shape of an old elven man. His face and bone-thin arms are smeared with paint. Okay. You can't do this. He's angry. Do what? Village! A home! The Nine Claws have lived here almost 50 generations. We were here long before your kind brought war to our land. You can't just burn it all. Okay. 
After a pause, he draws back. Soldier. Our warriors have all gone. You can't burn us all because of them. I won't. He draws back and gapes at you in horror, seemingly in response to something you didn't actually say, but illusory tongues of flame will flicker at the corner of your vision. Oh my god. He reaches out to you and opens his mouth to say something, but all that emerges is a series of violent coughs. He falls to his knees, choking on the thickening smoke. Flames overtake the vision as you back away. Dear God, there was like some kind of horrible genocide perpetrated here. This does not bode well. Boom. We are now a party of snipers. And I love it. We'll snipe all day long. If that's what it takes. Okay, so let me look at the map. So now I've explored a pretty good amount. Eastern Barbican. Well... Can I go over here more? Can I get through this passageway? Maybe I didn't see that. Let me look down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can go under this. Alright, cool. Or maybe it's blocked. I don't know. I'm going to try anyway. No, yeah, it's blocked up. We can't make it. But you could probably get there from a different route, maybe? Alright. Um, I don't see anything else. Okay. Well, time to go into this main structure, then. If we can. We can. The old watcher. Alright. Apparently we have an old watcher here. Alright. I'm gonna hey there. do a little work with Zelda. They'll never know I'm here. I hope not. Alright, ooh, we got a Whispers of Yenwood, a unique one handed sword that is reliable slaying of constitution, but it gives you minus three will. Um, it's good against spirit, so that's nice. Wow, look at all the story that's over here. Associated with this weapon. Alright, well, it's really good. Um, I'm going to have her take it, and I'm going to go into our inventory. And what are you using right now? You're using this sword, which is 12 to 18. This is actually also 12 to 18, but it's better against spirits. So we're just going to roll this for a bit so that we can do some more damage against spirits. Um, and that's great. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to have Zelda continue have a deer and make. exploring. They like their archways. <laughs> nice. We get a little information in the game. Here's a phantom. They like their archways, he says. Okay, let's get back into formation. Let's unstealth, and let's choose everyone to just walk up here. And, oh yeah, we're about to get into a scrum. Let's do it. Okay, here's our scrum. Hey there. So we solve scrums by dropping oh, down stuff like this. And let's see how this goes. Okay, now... Um, you're not doing anything. Can you shoot this? And then you're also doing zero at the moment. Can you hit this? You're yeah. apparently not doing anything. What about that? And then, um, okay. All right. Yes. We need another one of these. You're okay. in very bad shape. That's unusual. And then let's try this again. Yeah, we lost our main tank. Um, that's hey there. just terrifying. Um, okay. Following your lead. Yeah, well, okay. I mean, that's yeah. good, but... Uh, oh, no, he got back up because of his yeah. ability. That's right. Hey. Here, dude, use your thing if you can. And then can maybe huh? you can heal him so he doesn't die. Attack! Oh, come on. Really? We we can't go faster than them for any... Oh, no, they got stunned. Oof. How may I help? Well, you may help by um, killing whatever it is that's wrecking mm -hmm. us. Hey there. Shoot that. Hey there. No, no, no. 
Hey, you don't need to move, dude. Just hit this. And then, can you hit this one? Alright, good. We killed that. And then, yes. everyone, attack um, this sp spirit. Okay, good. Everyone hit this one. Alright, that's a good hit. Jesus, okay. Alright, that's bad. Yeah. Um, here, go again with this on this. Alright, that one's gone. Can we get this thing down? Following your lead. Okay. Yeah, do that. I know it's not going to work, but... Make some skeletons. And have them hit. Got it. Oof. That was scary. Alright. Well, we lost some people there. <laughs> that was bad. But we did win. It just took a while. Alright, let's get everybody to go back to the entrance. And say, sweet Moses, that was hard. So, it's almost a time when we would would camp. But I think we can push forward just a little bit more. Let me save it. Well, we are banged up. But I think we can press on. We have just saved it, so we should be fine. Maybe. But... Let's be yeah. safe. Let's. They'll never know I'm here. Sent off the rogue to just kind of scout the area, see what's going on. So this is actually another whole zone. If I go into this archway, so I'm not really ready for that. Uh, I will speed it up. Steward, oh no! As you come to the end of the great hall, you perceive an inviting warmth radiating from a grand throne wrought out of marble, its masterful artistry out of place amidst the castle's more practical stonework. The veiled face of a woman is carved above the throne's backing, watching over the room with hollow eyes. Now, are these, like, does she have wings? Or are these horns or tentacles? What's happening? As you approach, you feel the warmth fluctuate as though stirring, a voice rings out from the carving, permeating the fortress through stone and air. Another, Another. watcher in Cadnua. Oh. Glowing very brightly indeed to these eyes. What strange happenstance. Ah, okay, so the statue, or the steward, or both, is talking to me. Um, I'm looking for Merewold. As am I. If you should happen to find him, I would be glad to know of it. Each day his absence brings new dust to my hands uh -oh. and cracks to my stones. It's it's shameful is what it is. The Earl would never have let it come to this. You are free to search for him here. I will unbar the way. Wow. Thank you. Uh, interesting. You said these were your halls? Not as a land is its lords. More as a child is its mother's. This castle was my design, you see. The Earl appointed me to do it. I was getting on in years. I knew it would be my only chance to build something magnificent. Well, it is really nice. I was already marking on the, the grandeur of the architecture. When it was built, I couldn't bring myself to part from it. To go back to my lonely home. I begged the Earl to let me stay, to take care of it. It was all I wanted, and he granted it. Years later, when Bareth Sasha finally came calling, I begged the Earl to find a way to let me remain... And so he did. Okay, so... I don't know who the Errol was. I don't know who what Barrett's Usher is. But apparently they were able to make you immortal in this statue or something? Um, are you imprisoned in that throne? Imprisoned? At times it feels that way, I suppose. But it's more that I reside here. The throne was brought up from the ruins one of the first things huh. they found. As a last favor to a dying woman, the Earl arranged for me to be moved into it. Audra is an accommodating vessel for a soul. Wow. The Earl really liked you. 
Oh, it's not as confining as it seems. I can feel the whole keep from here, and all things that are tied to it. There's something about this throne and its construction. Or maybe it's something about this place. Well, that's interesting. Um, what arrow are you speaking of? The Earl of Yenwood. The original, in fact, when Deerwood was a colony. He found this site, the only ruin Air Glanfarth refused to defend, and he huh. believed its wealth would be great. The keep was his way of defending his family's claim, and that claim became his obsession. He had to know what lay beneath. This sounds like the uh, story of Darkest Dungeon. He devoted his life to excavating the ruins below the keep. It is. They had been sealed with rock and soil. Deliberately, it would seem. Years passed, and with them, the Earl. He dug his entire life and never found what he sought. Wow. His obsession became his sons and his sons' sons. And one day, that young Earl broke through. Okay, and what did he find? An endless maze, incomprehensible in its construction. But he would never come to learn more than that. Vile things had taken residence there. Vile and dangerous. They poured up through the keep and slew its residents. The Earl among them. Now, this definitely, it basically is Darkest Dungeon. So do I get to just play that now um, and, and defeat the Labyrinth? After that, the keep remained abandoned. Unused, wasted. Mayor Wall's mastery of this place was the first hope I'd had in 200 years. How I've longed to see it as it once was. Wow, mastery. Um, I can only guess why all this has happened. I fear I've wronged the gods putting this place here, and they've doomed me to watch it wear away into dust. To witness my own folly. I mean, that's possible, but you requested to be here, right? And the Earl, the Earl put you here? So... <sighs> I mean, you know. All right, what about Merowald? He was a great man. He came here one day, young with long hair and polished armor, and he banished the dark things that had come to lurk in this place after centuries of neglect. Wow. He could see the beauty of this place, the way it had been. So he claimed it for his own when no one else would take it. We worked together to restore it. Nice. But he began to grow distant some time ago. He never told me why. He retreated deeper and deeper into the keep, never leaving, sending servants for food, hiding himself from my sight. The restoration stopped. Now to look at the place. Oh gosh, he's been corrupted. We've made. In most places, it's worse than it ever was. And all I can do is watch it crumble around me. Wow. Um, any idea where I can find him? I can feel his presence faintly somewhere deeper inside the keep. But he uses his gifts to confound me, and my senses are dulled while he does so. I only wish I could know his mind. It ain't good. He's been touched by the darkness. Take care in your search. Many dangers lie in wait here. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, um... Let me just They'll never know I'm here. put her back into sneak mode while we look around a bit. Okay, I've got a chest. And it's empty. It's the treasury. I wonder if that means something. Like, if I get to restore this place, I'm going to be pumped. Probably not, but it looks cool. If I could make, like, a, if there was a base building or base restoration element... Man, how nice would that be? All right, let's look over here. Oh, I'm going to save it. Oh, we have Audra person. Mother. Been out playing soldier again, have we? Go wash up and come help me shuck these peas. As you draw nearer, the apparition in front of you resolves into an elven woman. Her stringy hair is tied back, and she tugs a loose thread upon her apron. There's a distant, hollow look in her eyes until she notices you. A frail smile descends like a veil over her face. Uh, yeah. She turns from you, and uh, long enough to produce a basket that, like her, is shimmering and semi-transparent, and no complaints. 
You've got to eat your vegetables if you want to grow up strong and be a real soldier, just like we agreed, right? She watches you out of the corner of your eye. Um, what are you talking about? Soldiers are important soldiers people. Soldiers are important oh. people. They defend the weak mm -hmm. and punish the wicked. That's right. You're too young to understand now, but there are lots of wicked people. People like the man who murdered your father. Oh. Uh, what happened to dear dad? Before you were born, the Glan Fathers attacked settlers like us. They said we'd knocked over some of their special Adra rocks. That's why they call it the Broken Stone War. They got very angry, and so they came into our villages and killed many people. Your father was one of them. Wow. I see. That's why you'll be a soldier one day. To protect and to avenge. Why don't you go back out and play? I'll finish up here. Okay. Thanks. So, is that Merwald's mother and Merwald is the soldier? Or is that the Errol's? I don't know. I'm confused but intrigued. Well... Everyone, this is a great place to stop the episode. We will get into exploring Cadnua even further next time. Thank you all for watching. Take care.